Hey everybody, it's Mr. and Mrs. Flashback here for a Monday. Um, it's gonna start off the week, a very hot week, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get into it and show you guys what's sold in our online store. This is Linda, I am Cameron if you're new. We sell stuff online, we buy stuff at garage sales, thrift stores, and estate sales, and we flip it online on platforms like eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark, hopefully for a profit. Usually we do pretty well. Uh, these are hopefully some items that you'll be able to keep an eye out for, and maybe some to avoid, if at all possible. <laughs> so let's get into it first. Linda will break down the numbers for us. So we had 19 sales on our main platform, eBay, for just um, under 520. 19 uh, items is definitely a bread and butter day for us. A lot of these are like just regular items you would find. We don't usually sell 19 a day. I would say we average somewhere around 12 to 14 usually if you take a good average. Mm -hmm. So we're a little bit higher than normal, which is great. Let's get into it though, the first item. First up uh, from Camp 2023, Anime Say I Love You, I love you. on DVD, sold for 22 and some change. There we go. Then that we was have two bucks. Gravity uh, Blu-ray 3D, sold for $19 shipped. Then we have the Personas M7 condenser microphone. Tested works for $35 shipped. Next up, we have Beautiful Joe for PS2 from Camp 2023, sold for $25 shipped. I think that was five. Then you jacked it up. Then we've got a vintage Sears Craftsman paint spray respirator sealed, sold for $45 shipped. That was super cool. Then uh, new old stock. This is a replacement Lewitt canister vacuum cleaner bags. There's 20 bags in total. So These for... are like aftermarket bags too. They're made by VCB, probably for vacuum bag. I don't know, but they're for a Lewitt canister vacuum. There wasn't really good comps, but they wanted 75 cents a piece. So we got five of them and they sold for? $48 shipped. Pick those up at Saks Thrift. Then we've got The Way, The Living Bible Illustrated, paperback sold for $20 shipped. Very cool. Then uh, Jada Toys ACDC Power Supply Adapter, sold for 18 and some change. Next up, we've got Jet Moto 1 for PS1, sold for 13 and a half. Then a Valor Collection Military Service Wolf Sweater. There's that army green sold for 18 and some change. Those don't, those don't sell super well. No. Next up, we got Mass Effect Either 1, 2, this. and 3. You would think this would do a little better. For Xbox 360, sold for 13. Next up, we've got a Midland two-way radio walkie-talkie desktop with the charger thing, docking charger, sold for $22 shipped. Free box. At a garage sale, it was just the dock. They go, I don't know where the power cord is. It's free. I'm like, I'll take it. Found a power cord they made at home because I have a bunch of them. It works. Boom. Sold for 27 bucks. Very cool. Next up, we've got a uh, new Infinity front license bumper plate bracket. I believe that's this. Sold for $36 shipped. Then Romeo, the complete series from our DVD 200 Not by Romeo. Rome, the complete series. So what we're going to work on next is reading. Yeah. <laughs> and that sold for almost $15 shipped. She got off of work, so she's tired. Sorry, guys. Next up, out of our Nike 450 buy, we've got this pair of Nike Air Force One. They're kind of cool. And Anthracite. They look like snake skin. And those sold for 37 and some change. They don't have soles, insoles either. They have soles, but not insoles. Next up, out of the $1,200 tool buy, we have an 0304 Honda Pilot uh, electric wiring diagram. It's ETM. It is? Oh, is. ETM. Yeah. Sold for $28 shipped. Should have, should have ETM in there, but it doesn't. Sorry. So. No, it's not your fault. Oh, okay. Next up, we've got a Fujimi Honda Integra Type R model kit. Uh, it is open, but it looks to be complete. Sold for $60 shipped. I'm off for like 20 of this the other day. I'm glad I didn't take it. Um, and then, uh, these, these model kits, though, be careful if they're open, because you got to make sure all the pieces are there, or at least most of them. If it's a very rare set, it'll still sell even incomplete. Mm. But if it's not complete, you're usually going to get less, so you want to take a look at it when you're there. Then we got Youth and Revolt on Blu-ray out of the DVD 200 buy, sold for seven and a half ships. Okay. And last but not least, we've got this five-inch by ten-inch. This is the worst sale of the day. Wall mount letter with Superman, Superman. sold for six and a half ships. We got like seven of these for ten bucks. 
I think it was. I think it's Preston is what it's spelled. Yeah, it's spelled. And this is the last one I think we have left. The rest of them sold for around 10. This one took forever. Because it's got Superman on it. He's the most generic superhero. Even though he was pretty good. Henry Cavill is his name? Was pretty good in the movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a good guy. Anyways, that's it. Hope you guys will um, see us in a second with what sells on Tuesday. Sales for Tuesday. How did we do? <laughs> we had 23 sales for just over 630 Another great quantity-wise sale uh, amount today, just like yesterday, and then a great dollar amount too, and pretty easy packing day. So let's get into it. A lot of bread and butter here. First up, we've got a No Game Case. This is Evil Dead, a fistful of boomstick for Xbox, sold for $12 shipped. Just for the case and the manual, I think. Yep. Then we got an Eris uh, surfboard modem, sold for $90 shipped to pick that up, Camp 2023. Linda found this one. Yeah, I did. I think it was 20 bucks. Then we've got a vintage VCR protective dust cover. We can't um, find it. Yeah. I know it was listed a couple months ago. We gotta find it. It's like a little slip cover that can go over your VCR to protect it. Yeah. It's like a leather one, so we gotta find it. But it sold for how much? Eighteen dollars shipped. Eighteen bucks. Then we got a Jaguar eyewear case, sold for fifteen dollars shipped. Hard case. It's been up, been up for a while, but it's yeah. sold. <laughs> then we got a Samsung Maxima Zoom eighty Ti, sold for twenty four dollars. We've been shipped. doing so well on these little thirty five millimeter cameras and little digital ones. Digital mm. ones. Uh, this one sold pretty quickly. I've sold a lot for anywhere from 20 They go as high as 100 bucks depending on which one you have. So don't sleep on these guys. You do got to test them at least the buttons and make sure they work and the shutter and everything. But there's some money there. Then we have a Hoover Lynx battery charger. Sold for $45 shipped. I think it goes like a battery. Yeah, like a little vacuum or something. I got it for 10 bucks at the thrift store. Tested it out. The battery at least charges and it seems to hold a charge. Because uh, it'll say charge for a while, and this sold pretty quickly too, so good deal there. Then we have a Bose interface module cable for a Cinemate GS series home yeah, heater. Yeah, it hooks up to like um, the sub and everything like that for a Bose there system. Was that a garage sale? Bose is obviously super good selling brand, guys. You probably already know that a lot of Bose stuff has some value. Still look it up. I saw the Bose, the Bose sub and I'm like and some speakers and I'm like oh I don't doesn't have any other pieces no remotes or anything and I asked the guy well what do you want on this and he goes oh I got all the other pieces in this box and he pulls out this bucket with the interface with all the cables and with the remote he says twenty bucks and it works and we bought it and that piece sold for forty dollars shipped so that was worth it by itself then Camp twenty twenty three to a repeat buyer one of our main uh, video game buyers sold uh dynasty wars 8 for ps3 sold for 14 dollars shipped that was two bucks then from our bin store we got the singing contractors sold for 10 and some change i think that was two bucks and it sold for 10 so not the greatest we'll make a few bucks next up we've got a raising canes one love camo visor sold for 45 dollars shipped the buyer said don't scam me is their message they have zero feedback so yeah. it's somebody probably who just got on to make wonder. an account to get yeah. this hat <laughs> so, so and someone was offering us i think like 25 or something on that half yeah. of their day so i'm glad it sold for full price then we got a binaire five button remote control picked that up also at camp 2023 sold for 18 dollars shipped mm -hmm. then we got shadow madness the strategy guide listed sold last for night from a strategy guide buy that i had and it sold for almost 16 dollars shipped going ebay international i think they paid 30 something bucks for that nice then we got the iron mistress on dvd sold for 10 and some change then a $700 manual buy with an 0204 Honda Civic hatchback manual, sold for $22.5. Then a Chilton Ford Repair 91 to 99 That's a manual, manuals, sold so. for $13.5. Then we have out of DVD 200 buy, the Hollow Crown Complete Series, sold for $21 and some change. Then we have an iDevice Switch, These a Wi Fi cool. smart plug. There you go. So for $35 ship. I got four of these for like five bucks. So very good deal on those. They're cool. Then we have Eric Bennett, Spend My Life With You on CD. So for almost $7 ship. That's like uh, not that great. Probably not worth the time. Then Mini Mystery Mansion on DVD. Very so for cool. $28 yeah, ship. Yeah, that's the DVD look out for. Mystery Mansion here, guys. 28 bucks on that for a used DVD. Very good. Then I have a $700 manual by a 97 and 99 Honda CRV ETM. So for 33 and a half. Then a Haynes Jeep Cherokee 84 to 91 manual, sold for $12 shipped. Just to show you something real quick, guys, if you're, new, if you're new, we bought a bunch of manuals, mainly these ones from a big manual buy, that's what we're referring to. These are OEM. These are the ones made by Honda. 
They also have ones that are made by, you know, Acura, whatever vehicle it is. The Chilton and the Haynes ones look like this in different styles. They're made by other companies making a manual for certain models. Mm -hmm. These ones usually have less value because they're not the official manuals. They're still good. They still have some value. Look for cars that are popular that are still on the road today or cars that people are restoring. Um, like trucks, SUVs, usually Mustangs, things like that. Those are the ones that people will end up buying. Not worth this ton. I'd say on average anywhere from eight to twenty bucks on these. Some go a little higher, but an OEM manual, this one went for thirty something. So they do a little bit better. Then Final Fantasy VIII, the strategy guide, sold for twenty dollars shipped. Also listed last night from that buy. And last but not least, Animal Crossing New Leaf on 3DS, sold for twenty dollars shipped. And that's it. Like I said, very easy packing day for Linda. She should be able to jam through this pretty quick. We got to find that uh, VCR cover, and then oh, last night we also sold some Nerf zapper guns there were two of them they were orange or not nerf nes zapper guns not nerf um they're for the original nintendo they sold for 30 bucks shipped for the two of them so i think shipping ended up being like 10 or 11 bucks that's all we got we'll see you guys in a second with what sells tomorrow wednesday sales for wednesday how did we do we had 17 sales across two platforms today for just under 860 actually yeah pretty good day it's been another high quantity and this is actually our best dollar amount this week so let's get into it first item first up on mercari we have this uh fitbix two, bit bit flex 2 activity tracker with it comes the with band. everything an extra band a charger all oh, that stuff go. And that did sell for $48 plus shipping. And that was $3. Nice. Then to start us off on eBay, we've got a pair of new tags, the Stronghold Selvage jeans. Yeah. They're 30 by 30s, sold for $70 shipped. Never, picked it up at one of our local thrift stores. Yeah, I never heard of this brand before. It looked interesting. Saw it at a thrift store, I think for 12 or 15 bucks, and it sold for 70 something, so pretty good. Nice. And the Selvage or whatever is a good style of jean if you can find it. They sell well. Huh. Next. Then we got an 03 Honda Accord ATM out of a $700 manual buy, sold for $21 shipped. Then a PS3 Guitar Hero dongle. So good, right? If you see these at a garage sale, pick them up. If you see them with the guitar, even if you don't want to sell the guitar, these dongles sell. This one sold for, in a day, for $50 shipped. And I paid a dollar. Then we got a pair of Brooks Transcend 2 running shoes, sold for $30 shipped. These are not in perfect shape. No, but they're still bright yellow. And they're bright yellow, but, and the soles are okay, but they have some marks on them, so I think that's what hurt them a little bit, but glad to see them get out of here. Then we have a Mr. Christmas Holiday Carousel. We'll just put it on the screen. It's too heavy for Linda to lift up. It's from 1992. It's adorable with the musical ornaments and 21 car sings 21 different carols, which is a lot of carols. It was five machine. bucks at an estate sale, but it actually has one carousel that doesn't work. Oh, okay. They're all connected and they kind of go up and down and play a song. The song works, all of them move, and the one lights up, but it does not go up and down. Whatever mechanism's not working. I still sold it as is, and it sold for? $50 shipped. Very good. Then we got a pair of vintage O'Neal trail cool. light boots. These Look are big blue. Front like, I guess it'd be a patch or whatever Graphic, you want to call it. Yeah. Yeah. And these we did pick up at our local thrift store. We they are going both. eBay International, and they sold for a hundred and twenty-one dollars shipped. Yeah, those I had for I think I paid twenty-five bucks for those, maybe or twenty bucks years and years ago. We when we did our redid our shoes. We found out they weren't listed. Yeah, they've just been over there. So then we relisted. They probably were not we listed. We didn't have for... that many. We only had like two that weren't. No, there was like four, I think. No, because that one pair we couldn't even find. Because it wasn't listed. No, no, no. The one pair that was listed, but that wasn't there. Yeah, there was like a couple, two or maybe two or three that we weren't listed. This was yeah. one of them. There was a pair of Jordans that we already sold. They sold right away after listing them. And then now these have sold, so. Very cool. Then we got uh, Tom and Jerry for Game Boy Color. Sold for 10 and some change to our video game buyer. Then we've got a Cause Sesame Street Uniqlo uh, small, size small sweater. Yeah. It's got like Sesame Street, but they got all the eyes. But, Uniqlo yeah. is like a brand, and I think Uniqlo. Cause. What? Quo, not Quo. Oh, Quo. Quo. And then it's, I guess Cause is the artist, maybe? I don't know. So, but we got a bunch of those for at a period of time and we sold them now. For yeah. $30 shipped. 30 bucks. Then we got a Scotch car radio wiring harness. So for $50 shipped, picked it up at Walmart. Yeah, right before our vacation, I went there to get, we go fishing, get my fishing license. And I sold, I picked all this in clearance for 13 bucks and it sold for 50. There you go. Then we got a 98 Acura NSX uh, supplement. Sold for $40 shipped out of 70. 
$700 manual buy. That was a $40 offer to Waters. I remember that. This Next is cool. Up, this I didn't is... think this was going to be worth much. No. The 2002 commemorative stamp yearbook. It's like all in here. I'm not going to open it up, but you'll see. And it's a mint set with the stamps in the sealed envelopes. And that sold for $40 shipped. I think it was like two bucks. So that was pretty good. Then we got a Top Elite Gamer head cover. Sold for nine and some I think change. Top Flight. Top Flight. I did that last time too. Yeah, because you probably see Gamer, you're like, oh yeah, Elite Gamer, no. Uh, we bought, bought a whole box of these for $7.99, it's uh, Salvation Army. They only sell for about 8 to 12 bucks, depending on which one it is, but we got like 20 of them, so it's been good. Next up, we have a vintage Pizzazz Gans uh, Christmas stocking. This is a bear plush Christmas stocking. Um, he's got the little holly at the top of his hat, it's adorable, and he sold for $40 shipped. Yeah, he was at an estate sale for, I think, 3 bucks. We like our plush stockings stockings yeah. we we sold last year like four or five or six yeah. of them right before christmas it was great i just picked up two more and listed them um if i can get them for a couple bucks or less and they're in decent shape especially of a cool animal like if you get like a panda bear or something kind of crazy or dogs like a specific breed of dog like if you get a doberman or something people will people buy like that their for dogs, their dogs yeah. so yeah next up we got a kenmore whisper belt uh hose sold for 60 dollars ship to pick that up at our local thrift store yeah, I forgot what I paid for that, but yeah, 60 bucks. Then we got a McLaren car, car cover it. bag. Use. No. It's, yeah, it's the car It's the bag it, for the car cover. If you guys have been following our videos, we sold a couple of McLaren items because I, the guy I buy from bought a storage unit with some McLaren stuff in there. Not the car or anything super valuable, but there was like a little accessory kit, a tire kit or something. A little charger and... The manual. The manual. Uh, owner's manual. Yeah, and then... And now oh. this. And I think I probably spent 150 and all that stuff. A lot oh, of it's sold. Oh, and the license plate. Did you see that? Um, no, I didn't sell license plate. License plate. So I got a bunch of stuff in there. I probably paid 150 We sold a, quite a bit of $100 of all that stuff. And then this just sold for? $70 ship. And I just Google lensed it to find out what it was. Bag so, for a bag. 70 yeah. bucks. Dang. Next up, we got the complete book of fly fishing from 1958. Don't know how relevant it is, but it's still sold for $9 shipped the same information probably you just fish yeah it reminds <laughs> me of the the parks and rec guy I forgot what his name is but he's like you don't teach a man to fish you you don't you fish for yourself and you have something to eat and it's like fishing's not hard you should figure it out himself or something <laughs> ron ron yeah ron swanson, ron swanson so i don't know the exact quote but if you've seen it you'll know it's funny Anyways, that's all we got. We'll be back in a second. Uh, last night we did sell a vacuum. Um, Auric XL, little portable kind of handhelds yeah. with attachments. Went to somewhere in L or California, which was close to us. I took a best offer of 80 bucks, paid I think 15 for it, and Linda said shipping was like 10. Yeah. So great profit on there, sold pretty quickly. Um, usually we, we part out a lot of our vacuums, but that one I put together and it sold. So there you go. Very good. See you guys in a second. Sales for Thursday. How do we do? We have 14 sales on our main platform, eBay, for just under $600. Awesome. We could think it was four or 500 the first day, 500 the second day, 800. 800, and then a 600. That's great. Super blessed, super appreciative. Um, uh, summer slowdown, not this week, apparently. We've had other <laughs> slow weeks before this, but this week came through and a lot of sales. This was our lowest quantity um, so far through the first four, four days. And it's, it's all random from all kinds of categories. So it's not like... There's not one duplicate category, actually. Like, there's not one thing that's the same of the other type. Oh similar gosh, categories, right? yeah, but everything similar, is, but not, everything wow. is different. So pretty interesting. That's why we like to have multiple lines in the water. Yep. We have it niched down to just one thing. Some people do, and it works for them. If that's you, go for it. For us, sound of variety works, and it makes it a lot of fun. It's fun to list different stuff, in my opinion. Yeah. Let's get into it. First item. First up, we got Zombie Chronicles uh, for VHS. Very rare. Sold for 19 and a half shipped. Couldn't find it at first because I was looking with the Betamax tapes because I thought that's what it was, but it's a VHS. So reading comprehension, guys. Read it and make sure you understand it and then you'll be able to find it. Next. Next up, we've got a Bible. This is the Broadman and Holman Ultra Thin Reference Bible. I picked that up at Savers and it sold for 37 and some change. This one sold once before and the guy got it and just said it wasn't for him or something. So, um... It rarely happens with Bibles, but I think two or three times now I've gotten one back. It just wasn't for me. So I'm not sure what they were looking for, but 37 bucks. This was probably three or four bucks. Bibles in boxes sometimes have value, so look them up. Yeah. 
Then we got a Panasonic 4-line 16-station office phone. Picked it up at Camp 2023 and sold for $50 shipped. That was, I think, 8 bucks, and I got two of them, so one more to sell. Nice. Then we got a Lionel Polar Express number 1225 steam locomotive, and that did sell for $135 shipped. That guy said he just bought one of those, and it was shipped to him, and it broke, so he's buying ours. So not really ideal because he's already had a bad experience, but hopefully it'll go well. Um, we'll make sure it's packed up nicely. And that was 50 or, 50 or 60 bucks for the whole train and then 40 bucks for the track. And then so I'm in 100, but I'm parting it out and we've already made most of our money back here. Plus I got multiple track lots. I got a transformer, train cars, all different kinds of stuff. So usually with trains, I find it's better to part it out because most people want to replace a piece that broke or add to their current set. So yeah. Then we got a, from our vintage Mr. Christmas Santa ski slope. I saw uh, Mr. Christmas yesterday, there's, too. Yeah, there's six of the original replacement flags. So uh, down the ski, there's the flags, just like you see in, like, real on TV. There's the flags. So mm -hmm. these are the Christmas ones, and those sold for $10 shipped. Yeah, we paid 14 bucks for the whole thing, 15 bucks, and we just been parting it out because ours was broken. Yeah. Well, part of it worked, but it was part of it was one of the tracks was broken. So it made sense to part it out, and we sold through a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we still have the main slope left and a couple of track pieces, but yeah. it's been good. Then we have Creed, Human Clay, uh, Human Clay Weathered, or is it? They're two, Human Clay is one album and then Weathered is the other. Oh, okay. And those are from 1999 cassettes, sold for $25 for the pair. They were, I think, five bucks though. I paid up for them, but still sold. Then we have a Hallmark Keepsake Ornament. This is the Toymaker Club with Santa and our... It's the club. It's the ornament, ornament club. club. Toymaker Santa. Toymaker Santa. Okay. Okay. And that's the 20th anniversary. Sold for $26 shipped. Paid five bucks. And it came with the whole box with other stuff. I got some ornament hooks and some little ornament display. Everything for five. We already made our money on this. And I'm going to part sell the other th two things separately as well. Then we have a Champion Juicer motor. This is the motor only. So no bowl, no pieces on it. Nothing. Just the big old motor. This thing is huge. Big. There you go. Pretty Huge heavy, heavy, but um, I had two of these. The one was sold as a unit, and it sold a lot better. It was complete. This one I got with that one. I think I'm in it for five bucks, and it sold for fifty-seven dollars shipping. Going North Dakota, I think shipping's going to be twenty-five bucks. I'm not making a ton on it, but honestly, I don't have any other pieces for it. So it's I got to find someone who just wants this old motor. I'm just happy to see it go and clear some space. So, but if you do find a Champion Juicer with all the pieces, it's like a hundred and thirty bucks, hundred and fifty bucks, something like that. Or you could just buy the juicer and sell the replacement parts and not even sell the motor and still make good money. So these then we are have uh, five packs of Martin Acoustic Guitar Strings sold for $50 ship. Pick it up at one of our local thrift stores. Five five packs, three bucks each at the thrift. I decided to lot them together and got 50. Some guy in Mercari told me, hey, about 20. Not going to do it, guy. So glad I held out because it sold for 50. Then DVD 200 by got us Black Dahlia on DVD. So for $6.79 shipped. Not a whole lot. But. Going eBay International. Then we got a Rock Mount Ranch uh, Western shirt. It's a women's size large. The Aztec print. Really cool print snaps. on there. Really good colors on mm -hmm. that print. But. It's really cute. So for just under $34 shipped. Then we have Six Summers E Freshening Spray. There you go. Sold for $20 shipped. And we don't then, make a ton on those. No. Yeah. Uh, vintage Jan Sport backpack. This is the black one with the um, brown suede These bottom. This used to be cool back in the day. And that sold for $40 shipped. I think that was a dollar. And last but not least, uh, we've got this pair of Air Jordan 12 Retros, the Royalty Taxi. Those are the size four and a half youth. Sold for 40 and a half shipped. Pretty good, guys. Good mix of stuff. Like we said, not one category I think was the same. I mean, even the media, we had cassettes, a DVD, a VHS, a book, holiday, a train, shoes, shirt. Everything was kind of individual. So yeah. a lot of the markets we like to sell in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this week. It's been great for us. We saw a lot of stuff. We'll see you this weekend with what sells uh, the next couple of days. So take care.